Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to create the circular rack and pinion mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. So basically as you can see I am in the currently assembly mode right now. So what I am going to do is click on design library, click on toolbox, click on edit now. After that go to the NSI metric, click on power transmission, click on gears, uh, select this racks per rectangular ok. After that make sure that you remember what is the module in my case it is 1 uh, go downwards here you can see face width is 10 and face height is 10 so in my case it is fine ok after that uh, what we are going to do is uh, move downwards and uh, that's all click ok close it select this phrase press ctrl plus 8 after that go to the sketch click on sketch click on covered entities press ctrl a press ctrl c to copy the sketch now go to the assembly click on here sorry first exit the sketch mode select the front plane go here click on new part ok uh, right click on this and click on hide so select this uh, plane ok click on here click on new part select the front plane you can see my part is not sh uh, showing here after that what we have to do is remember the sketch we have copied so press ctrl v to paste the sketch after that go to the features click on extrude and extrude up to 10 mm click ok a question arises: why i am not using directly this part why i am you know making this part again the reason is that if i modify this part it will run my whole library that is the reason never modify these parts for example extrusion cut extrude or anything else if you are going to use it simply then it's good but if you are going to modify make sure that you create this part separately as you will face a lot of issues uh, later onwards so select this face click on sketch now i am going to create a circle uh, here you notice that it is uh, this point is here uh, actually i want this point to be exactly at the center of it so what i can do is go here right click on it and instead of here click on mid plane click ok now you see if i click on here sketch now this origin is at the center of it and this is basically what i want so if i click on circle draw a circle like this just make it a big one not issue after that what i am going to do is go here click on extrude cut and click on thin feature and just move it forward okay and click ok so you can see uh, my part my circular rack is created now now i want a pinion to rotate it so what i can do so exit this sketch mode uh, you see this sketch is look quite annoying so right click on it click on delete because i don't need this sketch uh, select the front plane press ctrl plus 8 simply drag per gear here uh, if you remember correctly that this rack has a module of 1 so this gear must also be have a module of 1 if the module of this gear is greater than or lesser than this one then the teeth will not mesh properly so make sure that you remember this thing and click ok close this so select this part rotate it now if i try to move it you can see i can move it but if you have learned something called degree of freedom in your college then you know that this is not the correct degree of freedom i want only uh, one degree of freedom in this case so how can i control this degree of freedom so go here click on view temporary axis so you see the center line uh, that is basically what i want so select this click on mates or oh, just use one command uh, let's see so yeah select the front plane click on mate and select the parent plane of the assembly click ok now it will go only go upward and this direction now i only want that it will go only in x direction not in y direction so what i can do select this axis select the top plane 
click OK. Now it will not go upward direction, neither it will going to rotate. So it will only go in X direction. Okay. So it has a degree of freedom one, and this is basically what I want. So select this face, press Ctrl plus eight. Now I want to place this gear correctly. So what I can do? Uh, so how can I place this gear correctly? So first move it downwards. You see I am using Gizmo. So with the help of Gizmo I can place it correctly. And after that what I need to do is I need to use some mate. Uh, that is called mechanical mate. Click on rack and pinion. It is asking first to select rack. So first to select a rack, simply select a edge. So in my case, this edge is fine. For pinion, select this. So here you see it's selecting the pitch pinion diameter. In my case, I don't know how many of you remember, but this gear has a teeth of 25. If I move over 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 it, you can see uh, spur gear. Uh, spur gear 1 module 25 teeth so 1m is 1 module and 25 t is 25 teeth so the module is 25 pitch circle diameter is 25 simple math is nothing else module what is module module is pitch uh, module uh, module is uh, d by t pitch circle diameter upon t so i simply you know module multiply by t i will get pitch circle diameter click ok so select this face press ctrl plus 8 so if I rotate it, OK, press Ctrl Z. So if I click here and rotate it, OK, it is not rotating. Uh, one more thing that I have to do is I have to define this distance up first. So go to the mate and select the top plane, select this axis, click on distance. OK, cancel it. Uh, select this face. Go to the mates, click on front plane and click on distance, enter the value of 5 mm, click OK, add this mate and break other stresses 5, click OK, we will see what kind of mate we have broken with this. So if I go to the mate, so this is the icon pin and this one, I think don't think that I broke any major things. Okay. After that select this. And remember, you have to select the axis, not a plane. If you select a plane, then it will create issue. Select the top plane. Click on distance. 16 points is fine for me. And one more thing that I have to do is select this. And I have to select the right plane. Uh, just click the distance value. Let's say 45. Click OK. If I try to rotate it, you can see I am getting animation, but here's the issue. Uh, it is moving in opposite direction. So what I can do is simply just align it correctly. Right click and click on reverse. Click OK. Here is the issue that it is not you know correctly placed. So what I can do? Right click, click on suppress, move it a little bit. And again, right click, click on unsuppress. So if I try to rotate it, you can see I'm getting the correct animation right now. Now, how to do animation with this? So it is quite simple. Go to the motion study, click on motor, select this face, click on reverse direction, enter the value of distance that is 360 degree in my case. The start time is 0, total duration of the animation is 5 seconds. Click OK. After that, what I'm going to do is uh, just let's hide all. And after that, I will click on, click on animate. And one more thing that I have to do is and that increase the uh, FPS, let's say 30 FPS uh, for better clarity of the animation. And let's play that. 
click on calculate again you can see now the animation looks much better let's click on play right click on play and to zoom in what i can do is right click disable now i can you know align the camera as per my requirement without changing it's again again so click on play you can see the animations look quite great and smooth properly aligned so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any doubt if you have any kind of doubt and queries feel free to ask okay and to me and one more thing that a question is in your mind that some people say hey man it is not looking fully circle so for that what you can do is select this part click on edit components select this face click on sketch and simply draw a circle here and click ok over here extrude we will face the issue after that surface can you guess what will be the issue ok one more uh, I can't simply extrude the hole because I, I forgot to add the teeth thing so I need to remember that there is a teeth as well so click on reverse so, click ok exit it now okay it's still working i thought there will be issue uh, okay a question is why i was assuming that there will be issue uh, the reason is that remember in uh, back and pinion mate we have selected a edge so the edge was set basically before this step so that edge is gone after i create x2 so that was the reason i was expecting that there will be an issue but hey there will be there is no issue here so yeah that's a good thing for me so that's for all guys so if you have any kind of doubt and query feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day bye bye namaste